fall, one of his key campaign promises. Texas Congressman Will Hurd sent a letter to the administration asking exactly how the president is going to spend the money. I still believe that building a wall from sea to shining sea is the most expensive and least effective way to do border security. Hurd says if the money goes towards new technology and personnel rather than a physical wall, he's in. If it's for thousands of miles of literal wall, he's out. The Department of Homeland Security can benefit from additional resources, but the, the money needs to be spent wisely and in a way that's actually going to secure our border. This request from the administration is just the tip of the iceberg for what the total cost of the wall will be. Heard says the country is already in a financial crunch, but supporters of the wall say it has to be built no matter the cost. What is the cost of doing nothing? We know what that cost is also. It's $113 billion a year, which is what it costs the country uh, for services uh, to illegal immigrants. Dave Ray is communications director at the Federation for for American immigration reform. He says he understands that a physical wall being constructed from coast to coast isn't realistic, but he still wants a lot more money to sink into border security to serve as a deterrent. If they think it's going to be nearly impossible to get in, many of them simply won't try. That's half the battle right there. Congress will continue to mull over the president's proposal and create the official budget over the coming weeks. Reporting in Washington, I'm Peter Zampa.